The objectives of this presentation are to discuss how statins interfere with the production of coenzyme CoQ10. We will also review the guideline recommendations on the use of CoQ10 as it relates to statin-associated muscle symptoms and clinical findings. We will finally specifically discuss the effect of patavastatin on CoQ10 levels. Coenzyme Q10 is a cofactor from mitochondrial energy production, which is present in almost all of the cells in the body. In 2015, it was estimated that approximately 1.3% of American adults were using CoQ10 supplements. To better understand the effects of statins on CoQ10, it is important to discuss the mechanism of action of each. Cholesterol and CoQ10 both share a common biosynthetic pathway. Statins inhibit the HMG-CoA reductase enzyme and are expected to reduce both cholesterol and CoQ10. More specifically, statins block the production of farnesyl pyrophosphate, an intermediate in the mevalinate pathway, which is responsible for the production of CoQ10. Statins have been shown to have many effects on CoQ10, namely reducing CoQ10 levels in muscle mitochondria and reducing CoQ10 levels in the serum by up to 54%. This effect is dose dependent, as the higher the statin dose, the greater effect is observed on the reduction of CoQ10. Considering LDLC is the main carrier for CoQ10, the reduction in CoQ10 could be reversed with the cessation of statin treatment. Many patients may be unable to or unwilling to continue statin therapy because of the real or perceived adverse effects. Importantly, approximately 29% of patients taking a statin describe some statin-associated muscle symptoms, resulting in these effects being a common reason for non-adherence. In randomized controlled trials, statin-associated muscle symptoms are relatively low and similar to placebo. The mechanisms leading to statin-associated muscle symptoms are currently not well known. Clinical presentation of statin-associated muscle symptoms, including fatigue, weakness, myalgia, and in certain cases, an elevation of creatinine kinase activity. Many studies have shown the effects of statins on CoQ10 and potential statin side effects, but the benefits of CoQ10 supplementation has become an underlying question. To help guide clinical practice as it relates to the complementary use of CoQ10 supplements to statin therapy, the 2018 ACC AHA multi-society guidelines gave a class 3 no benefit level of recommendation for CoQ10 routine use in patients treated with statins or for the treatment of statin associated muscle symptoms. This recommendation was based on data from many studies showing that there was no reported clinical benefit in reducing the frequency of statin associated muscle symptoms with the routine provision of CoQ10 supplements. Only observational data show that there is a perception of CoQ10 improving statin-associated muscle symptoms. However, there is no clinical benefit in the use of CoQ10 supplementation to eliminate muscle symptoms or increase the adherence to statin therapy. Two studies have investigated the effects of patavastatin on CoQ10 levels, showing that patavastatin does not significantly reduce CoQ10 levels as compared to rosuvastatin and atorvastatin. This study also showed that none of these statins showed adverse events or muscle enzyme abnormalities. The results in the graph on the right show the effects of patavastatin, atorvastatin, and rosuvastatin on ubiquinol, which is the oxidized form of CoQ10, to be used by the body. These results show that patavastatin appears to lower plasma level of ubiquinol at a lesser extent as compared to equipotent doses of atorvastatin and rosuvastatin. Important safety information for Zipitamag pitavastatin tablets. Indications and usage. Zipitamag is indicated as an adjunctive therapy to diet in adult patients with primary hyperlipidemia or mixed dyslipidemia to reduce elevated total cholesterol, 
low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, or LDLC, apolipoprotein B, triglycerides, and to increase high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, or HDLC. The effect of zipitamag on cardiovascular morbidity and mortality has not been determined. Contraindications Zipitamag is contraindicated in patients with known hypersensitivity to product components, in patients with active liver disease, which may include unexplained persistent elevations in hepatic transaminase levels, in women who are pregnant or may become pregnant, in nursing mothers, or in co-administration with cyclosporin. Warnings and Precautions Myopathy and rhabdomyolysis. Risk factors include age 65 and greater, renal impairment, inadequately treated hypothyroidism, concomitant use of certain drugs, and higher doses of zipitamag. Zipitamag is contraindicated in patients taking cyclosporin and not recommended in patients taking gemfibrozil. The following drugs, when used concomitantly with zipitamag, may also increase the risk of myopathy and rhabdomyolysis. Lipid modifying dosages of niacin of greater than one gram per day, vibrates, and colchicine. Discontinue zipitamag if markedly elevated CK levels occur or myopathy is diagnosed or suspected. Temporarily discontinue zipitamag in patients experiencing an acute or serious condition at high risk of developing renal failure secondary to rhabdomyolysis, such as sepsis, shock, severe hypovolemia, major surgery, trauma, severe metabolic, endocrine, or electrolyte disorders, or uncontrolled epilepsy. Inform patients of the risk of myopathy and rhabdomyolysis when starting or increasing zipitamag dosage. Instruct patients to promptly report any unexplained muscle pain, tenderness, or weakness, particularly if accompanied by malaise or fever. Immune-mediated necrotizing myopathy, or IMNM. There have been rare reports of IMNM, an autoimmune myopathy associated with statin use. IMNM is characterized by proximal muscle weakness and elevated serum creatine kinase, which persist despite discontinuation of statin treatment, positive anti-HMG-CoA reductase antibody, muscle biopsy showing necrotizing myopathy, and improvement with immunosuppressive agents. Hepatic dysfunction. Increases in serum transaminases can occur. Rare post-marketing reports of fatal and non-fatal hepatic failure have occurred. Consider liver enzyme testing before initiating therapy and is clinically indicated thereafter. If serious hepatic injury with clinical symptoms and or hyperbilirubinemia or jaundice occurs, promptly discontinue zipitamag. Increases in hemoglobin A1C and fasting serum glucose levels. Increases of each have been reported with statins, including zipitamag. Optimize lifestyle measures, including regular exercise, maintaining a healthy body weight, and making healthy food choices. Adverse reactions. The most frequent adverse reactions with a rate of greater than 2% are myalgia, back pain, diarrhea, constipation, and pain in the extremities. This is not a complete list of all reported adverse events. For additional information, please refer to full prescribing information. You're encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov forward slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088.